What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video I have some good news and some bad news for the uncovered jailbreak users on the iOS 12. I'm going to start with the good news though. Pound Own posted just a few hours ago, quote, Uncover version 3.0.0 beta 42 was released to enable the MacSwap exploit on A9 and A9X devices. So you can download the beta 42 in here on the uh, beta. So you go ahead and pretty much go to the uh, IPA files down below and press beta 42. Now what it changes? Well, it makes the exploit, the MaxPop, slightly faster, it enables the MaxPop exploit for the A9 and A9X devices, and it updates the app list caches file for the repositories. So even if you don't have an A9 or A9X device, you should definitely update to the latest beta, because there are also some important updates for the other devices as well. Now if you're wondering which are the A9 and A9X devices, the Wikipedia does have the answer. If you go ahead in here on the Apple A9 chip page and just scroll down below, there is a list of the uh, products that do use this chip. So you have the iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, you have the SE and the iPad 2017 5th generation and for the A9X you do have the iPads in here, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 1st generation and the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. So if you have any of these devices you can now use the MaxPop exploit which is actually very very fast. I talked about it in my previous video, go ahead and watch it if you missed it. And of course it's a very very quick exploit device developed by IB Sparks. Now, as I said in my previous video, Pound to Own is planning to pretty much bring that exploit to all the devices that are supported, but for the moment, he pretty much seems to be doing it one generation at a time. So now the A9 and A9X devices are supported, and previously the A7 and A8 devices were supported. So yeah, we're going to wait for the A10 and so on before we get the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus support and all that jazz. But I said that there are also some bad news. Well, the bad news are coming from Apple themselves. The iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 has been signed for all the devices, so you could simply downgrade to the iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 and there will be no problem whatsoever. However, yesterday Apple decided to finally stop signing the uh, beta and now it's impossible to downgrade to it. Now some people do report that it's still possible on some devices, including some iPads, but it's really not known which ones are indeed still signed or if they are still signed at this point, because the website in here by one Conan pretty much shows them as being unsigned completely. And of course many other sources that I checked do say that they are unsigned at this point. So it's no longer possible to downgrade with the betas, which is unfortunate because it stayed signed for a very very long time. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, update your uncovered jailbreak to the latest beta in order to get the faster exploit and of course if you have the A9 or A9X device to get the better exploit. And of course, Till the next time, peace out.